gentlemen. Let us, thanks for being here. We'll connect to our deep Ujjayi breath. Feel the back of the skull line up over back of sacrum. Might even use these first moments to honor and thank our body, our senses, for the portal into depth that they are. We'll work a very simple pranayama in two parts. Part one is going for a roughly 10 to 12 count exhalation. So let's just work that part one. We're just starting off with a lengthy exhalation, like 10 or 12 count. And just note with that, that one shift in breathing, how that sense of self, the experience of our our body, our person, our interiors, does any of that shift? I have a, I have a hypothesis <laughs> that when we take moments to feel the downshift of these various rhythms of our body, like our breathing rhythm, Our relationship to time kind of recalibrates. My hypothesis is that is pertinent to the heart.
right, part two. We're going to slow it down even more. <laughs> so we'll work alternate nostril breathing. You don't even have to count the inhale. Just inhale till you feel full. And then we'll hold, close and hold for 10. And then we'll exhale for 10. I'll count us through the first round. I'll choose my right hand um, this, this time. And so my thumb, if it closes right nostril, leaving my left nostril open, now inhale till I feel full. Then use the ring finger, and we'll hold our breath and hold both nostrils closed up to 10. So it's a very flexible 10 count. And the just the Im initial urge you have to let that breath go, just let it go, exhaling out the right nostril for 10. right side is open so we'll inhale till we feel full through that one nostril so a flexible hold up to 10 count the important thing is no strain no strain Ten count, exhale out the left. So if we do two more breath rounds like that, so let's do that on our own, and then we'll, we'll pause after that. Two more breaths. So in a sense, this is a, uh, uh, an intentional bottleneck, an intentional kind of slowing down technique. So it's really important as all of this information funnels <laughs> through this technique, as various sensations become magnified that we soften and just consider how would that go if I was open, open to feeling those sensations just as they occur. Let's unwind, straightening the left leg. We're working a Mariachasana. Uh, some people like to have a strap just nearby. If I'm using a strap, I would put it by the right hip. So I've got my left leg straightened, my right knee bent. Inhale, raise the right arm, lift the chest. And then exhaling, a fold. And this right arm can wrap around. Maybe I just latch onto the thigh crease. Maybe I pick my left hand up and hook, like S-hook my, my, my fingers. Now, 
these next few breaths. It's kind of a particular nostril breathing. Feel as if you're inhaling, breathing, into the, f the part of your nostril that's closest to your lip or your face. I'm actually breathing in a way where I might be able to feel the current of breath right over my, my lip skin. <laughs> And releasing. Inhale, come up right. Come all the way up as vertically as you can as you can sit. And we're moving into a twist. Set that right hand on the ground, and your left elbow can hook around or hook over the thigh. I'm gonna keep it milder for myself, so I'm just doing a, a hook around. And Brett, you may try pressing into the, the inner half of your right foot. So kind of involving the inner right hip, the inner right leg. There you go. There you go. Now I bet you can get a lot of uh, lift-like quality through the mid-back, the low mid-back. Press out through that left heel. Press out through the left ball of foot. You got a really active left leg. And release. Let's inhale, unwind. We'll trade sides. So right leg straightened out in front. And left knee bent. Here's the Mariachasana. Inhale the left arm up. Exhaling, fold forward. Reach forward. And then wrap. That left arm all around the thigh, shin in the thigh. You can S-hook the hands. If you're really kind of flexible, you might do a wrist grab. just for the sake of study. On that other side, I had us focus on breathing through that part of the nostril that's closest to our lip. Now breathe into the through the middle third of your nostril. So it's not the tip, the outermost tip of the nostril. Breathe through the middle, the middle of your nostrils.
inhale, unwind. Sit up as vertically as possible. And left hand down beside your hip, exhaling, we'll twist to our left. You can take a, a fairly easy path, hooking the elbow over. I like this because I can hook and create more verticality by pulling my arm down. Just like it. It's easy on the twist. It's great on the verticality. And, and just for the sake of study, I just find this is such a cool... What's the word? I guess the word is like a holistic or, you know, we'll say like just these kind of patterns in the body. When I breathe through this part of the nostril closest to my lip, it may help you attune to and breathe into the lower third of your, your core. When I breathe into the middle third of my nostril, it helps me feel, it helps me breathe in and attune to the middle third of my trunk, like the heart. And then, of course, the very tip of the nose, the head space. So you can use this to your, um, to your navigatory benefit. So if you're trying to feel how to get breath into that low back or that low belly, a helpful way of just accentuating that 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 uh, through breath and release inhale and unwind when we lie on our back for abdominals I'm just going to do a handful we're going to select these um, these tractioning ones so we'll be placing hand pressure against a vertical leg or vertical thigh and pressing I'll talk us through the whole thing we can start with the hands behind the head, the feet lifting off the ground. Inhale, head and shoulders off ground. And pausing, we had a little bit lower abdominal pressure. Right? Exhale the left leg straight up. Use the left palm press. And the pressure is there to help me feel the hip, the sacrum, the low back. And I'll pull low belly down. Inhale, bend left knee. Curl tailbone. Exhale, right leg goes straight up, right hand pressure. Pressing thigh bone. Pull low belly down. I'll talk through one more. Inhale, bend right knee. Curl tailbone. Exhale, left leg reaches up, left hand presses. Let the pressure just help us sense more clearly into that low back, sacrum, hip, pull low belly down. Inhale, bend the left knee. Curl tailbone. Exhale, right leg reaches, right hand presses. Pull low, belly down. Now, the next three we'll do on our own. That will be three on each side. If you want to try that, breathing through that third of the nostril that helps you connect to the low belly, that can be a fun, a fun explore. 
So three more each side on our own. Here we go. Remain lying when you're through. We'll work a lying spinal twist. So you can stretch the left leg out along the ground. Hold the right knee and thigh close to your chest. And we'll turn onto our left side. So I, I put that right knee on something. I just choose a block right now because it's handy. And the right arm reaches uh, off to the right. So to feel breath penetrating deeply into the body. Maybe, maybe instead of trying to push, seep it in, actively send the breath in, maybe we receive the breath deeply in. Maybe we feel the breath permeate the chest, the ribs, the organs, kind of like rainwater to soil. As we soften, we receive. We'll change sides. Inhaling, we'll come back centrally. Straighten right leg out. And with the left thigh held closely toward torso, turn onto your right side. And stretch the left arm out to your left. Precise angle determined by you. If when you start to get into some maybe an interesting stretch or shoulder or chest area, just camp out there for a moment. And as we connect to breath, we might try matching the the nostril breath with the area that you're 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 penetrating with your 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 breath and your mindfulness.
from here. We can just use the right side of our body to press. to a forearms and knees position. We'll be setting up dolphin. Now, just so you know, the version we're working today, it'll be that one where we kind of walk the feet in gradually, but I'll talk us through so we can make that shift incremental. All right, we've got our dolphin set up. Inhale. Toes curled under, exhale, and knees off the ground. So let's just play with it a little bit. And take two breaths, wherein we feel the, the breath contacting and entering the nostril through the third that's closest to our lip. And feel that little rush, that little current closest to your face, your skin. Now let's take two breaths, feeling for that breath moving through the central third of your nostril. It's a very slight move, but yeah, it's a, it's a powerful, in that very subtle, in that subtle way. Feeling in the heart, the sides, the ribs. Let's take two breaths into the uh, third of your nostril. It's the tip, the tip of your nostril. You may find it beneficial to same time focus and feel into the head space. Walk your toes about an inch closer to your elbows. We'll set knees down. When we stand, we're setting up for a flank stretch. And this is an option that I've just kind of likes uh, at certain times. I'm putting a block out in front of my right foot. Now, this is not a necessary thing, but it just it helps me feel and focus into a very different part of my rib cage, heart, shoulder blade. Okay. So usually when we kind of reach over with our left hand, we're grabbing an ankle. Sometimes I'll put it on the floor. Today, I'm putting it on the block. And just those few inches of elevation, my right hand's just kind of hanging out on my right ankle somewhere. Instead of my elbow moving down toward the ground, I'm just sending it away from my sit bones. So I'm just kind of sending my um, elbow down and away. Just a different angle gives me a different insight. That's all. And then a 
of course, just however I am pressing with my feet and arching the left side of the ribs, that will give me some added, added flavor. <laughs> we'll call it flavor. And you can experiment with how uh, forward your block or your hand is. Now, without moving your feet, without moving your feet, keeping them just glued to the ground, internally rotate your left thigh bone. So I'm intimating turning my left toes inwardly. I'm actually moving. I'm just engaging my legs as if internally rotating my left leg. That's all. When we release, we'll walk it over to the other side. So I'm using a block today. The elevation does me well. My toes are facing more or less just straight ahead or just very, very slightly interned. And I'm putting my right hand on a block in front of my left foot. Yes, y'all got it. And if you have a little bit of stiffness or, or snuggliness in the backs of your legs, you could, you could put another block. Like you'll just get a different, yet another kind of access point. And I'm sending my elbow slightly forward and downward. As I apply foot pressure, I can intentionally arc the right side of my ribs. Whatever I do, it's fine. It's now what do I feel around the heart space? What material is there to, to open up to, to digest, to at long last finally feel to completion? And if you like that, the intoning of internal rotation, again, just a reminder, my foot doesn't actually move, but I engage my right leg as if I'm like uh, plow stopping or, or, or um, turning the toes in or pushing the heel out. more very deep breaths. Just give you some, some images to help entice a deep breath. Our, our lungs, right, this is the connective tissue encapsulating our lungs, the sac. As we breathe deeply and dynamically, one, we may, may be helping to unstick these connective sheaths between the lung and the, and the rib cage wall, the interior. But also there's this oily 
lubricant that helps the lung and the sac slide. So when I'm breathing deeply, maybe on a mechanical level, a lubricant level, I'm actually kind of un unsticking my lung tissue so they can slide and glide. All right, when we release, we place the hands centrally and let's heel toe the feet together. If you have a sensitive low back, what I recommend is just kind of squat the butt down and, and then you can stand up. Whew. Well, that's a thing. All right. <laughs> let's stand at the top of our mat. <laughs> Unintended consequences of that. <laughs> I like it. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhaling, fold forward. Inhale, step the left foot back. Lunge of your choice. Yes, you can put that knee down. I'm going to keep the knee up so I can work with these legs a bit. Hands to ground. Exhale. Right foot back. Now let's lower all the way down. Just in case we kind of got a stretch going in that back. Let's do a cobra. Inhale into the abdomen under the diaphragm. Using the hands, pull. Getting those upper chest bones, the upper lobes of your lungs filling, articulating. Exhale, lower down, downward dog. Lunge, inhale, left foot forward. Lunge of your choice. You can go knee down. You can go knee up. Hands to ground. Exhale, let's step that right foot forward, stepping into a fold. Inhale, stand, reach the arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart. Let's do another just like so. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, lunge of your choice. Hands to ground. Exhale, step back, lower. Let's lower all the way down. Inhale, belly into the earth. Breath under the diaphragm, behind the sternum and the chest wall. Exhale, lower, downward dog. Lunge, inhale, right foot forward. Your choice, lunge. Hands to ground. Exhale, step left foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, draw arms up, hand bones spread, exhaling, hands to heart. All right, chair. So when we inhale, bend the knees, and as you reach the arms up, keep lifting the chest away from your lap. Exhale, fold, and the legs straighten, the neck relax. And now, monkey, use the hands. Inhale, pull or press your chest forward. Exhale, a step back. You could jump back if you like. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. You always have that option of working cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Easy twisting warrior. Let's inhale the right foot forward. We'll keep the left hand down on the ground and draw the right arm toward the sky. Now, when you open up your hand bones, or part of the, the reason of this move, so you're going to start to get all of this this musculature, this ligamenture on the back of your hand really turned on. 
And when those, e they call them extensors, when you open up the hand really strongly, you may even f can feel the ligaments on the back of your hand starting to kind of pop out a little bit. When you get that ligamenture really turned on, it spreads, it opens up this, this tunnel where our nerve runs through, our carpal tunnel. So we, part of that active hand is actually open up that little tunnel so it's not collapsed. Okay, when we uncollapse nerve channels, often we can increase sensitivity. Okay, so just a nice structural and energetic thing to do in the hand. Now just feel which third of the nostril you're breathing through. And if you want to change it, you can get one or two more breath moments. All right, pyramid. Inhale, bring the right hand down to the leg. Step left foot forward. Straightening legs. Okay, and you can place your hands on leg, block, ground, your pleasure. And you're breathing deeply. Maybe you can even feel how the lung moves and fills underneath those ribs. We can attune to the organs. We can practice feeling into these different, not only locations of the body, but substrates of the body. We can attune to our organs. We can attune to our mitochondria. We can attune and feel the brightness, the dimness of our blood. We can attune to the substrate of our connective tissue. Now, we we'll bend that right knee, inhaling. Let's step left foot forward. Come, come all the way up standing for a uh, mm, standing alternate twist here. So my left hand grabs my right foot. Okay, so I'm twisted, chest opening to the right. I'll say that again. My left hand grabs the outer edge of my right foot. And I'm reaching my right hand straight back. Take a moment if you need a little prop to hold you up. Inhale, we'll set that right foot down. And exhale, let's set our hands down, stepping back, chaturanga. Inhale, choose please, upward dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Okay, I'm going to do that easy twisting warrior on the other side. Inhale, step your left foot forward. The right hand down, the left arm skyward.
pyramid. Inhale, bring the left hand down, and we adjust the legs. So step the right foot forward a few inches, like six or eight inches. Prop the hands. Fold forward. Feet active. Now breathing into the sides of the ribs, so there's that kind of expanding the ribs move. And as I'm exhaling, I'm feeling how that in, in, internal gesture of release actually telescopes my ribs toward, toward the ground. So sort of lengthening out just by dint of me softening internally. I'm going to bend that knee, inhale, step the right foot forward. And when we stand, pardon me, that alternate twist, that standing twist, is my right hand grabbing my left foot and reaching my left hand straight back. Take your time and then get a prop. There you go. That's it, Jay. And inhaling, bend that left knee. We'll <laughs> set it down. And exhaling, when you arrive at top of mat, we'll fold forward. And stepping back, I can establish my, my breath rhythm right here. Inhaling, pressing, lifting the back of the heart right up between those blades. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Let's gently set knees down. And get a little twist going, a little deep, deep twist. Um, I'm going to set us up with a strap. And just as a reminder, I'm going to set up. I've got my left leg on the ground, my right knee tented pointing skyward. I'm taking this big old loop of strap and encircling my, my ankle. This is my right ankle. Pardon. Okay. And I'm running that strap behind and I'm just dropping the strap off beside my right hip. I'll say that all over again. The strap is on my ankle. It runs beside my left hip, behind my back, and I've placed it down beside my right hip. Got it? Good. So let's start with the left arm. I'm going to hook that over. Now, if I feel like I can... Place that strap into my left hand. Look here. I 
put my left hand down next to my hip, and I've grabbed the strap. Now my right hand, I reach behind back, I grab the strap, It's closer to the ankle. There we go. I l it's, a, it's a little bit to set up, but I like it because then once you can get the pieces, you actually have a lot of support. And let's do this in thirds with our nostril, with our breathing. So if you can feel your sit bones contacting the ground, your feet active, We'll take the first couple of breaths into that third of nostril closest to your lip. And just feel if that helps you register, helps you feel the lower third of your body. As we shift our focus up to around the ribs and the heart, now breathing through the middle third of your nostril. Not so neat, it just kind of like dialing in a radio station. <laughs> Get right in there. And, and if we can feel the skull bones over the neck, over the pelvis, this final breath or two into the, t through the tip of your nose, that third of your nostril furthest from your face. And you can just feel kind of how that quality of headiness is it's quite a bit different than the quality of the heart or the qualities in the pelvis. Good. And then let's release <laughs> carefully and slowly. And you know it, we'll do the other side. <laughs> So if you do seated meditation, if that's just something that's in your repertoire, this has been an invaluable way of embodying and doing stillness types of uh, practices. I love working with these thirds in any pose, in any meditation practice. It helps me also kind of reestablish a whole bodied approach. Yeah. All right. So my left knee's tented up, strap around the ankle, run the strap beside the right hip, behind the back, and drop it off beside the left hip. Got it? Okay. Now, the right elbow hooks over the thigh. Now I fold this right hand down next to my hip, grab this strap. So here. Left hand then, reach behind back, grab strap, Closer to the ankle.
after having carefully unwound. Let's take some rest, please. Add layer, lie back, prop up. So whatever helps you feel at rest. So we can, pardon me, enter Shavasana. Just taking in the, the good of your practice efforts, your practice time, just taking in the good. The good is what you can feel. so important to celebrate the good that we can feel, that we can notice. It helps create an easier return path. Not only is it good on an individual basis, but when we gather, and we gather intentionally, with the hope and the intention of working in a way that promotes this good, We're contributing to the larger, the larger collective. No effort of this kind is ever wasted. And as always, if you're in a good spot and you want to keep resting in Shavasana, you're welcome to remain. If, however, you would like to move, bend knees. Turn to a side.
and press. Pleasure and honor. <laughs> Namaste.